welcome to an episode of Chad and Friends Beer Reviews. I'm over at Jay's apartment. Hello. And we're doing a pretty special beer today for a variety of reasons. Uh, well, first things first, it's the first outdoor review of the year at Jay's house and for him. Yep. Second of all, this beer is Kilkenny Irish Cream Ale, which was given to us from Dennis LD from DM's Montreal Beer Reviews. Go check him out if you're not already watching him. He really knows his beer. Um, and third of all, is this beer, even though it's by the makers of Guinness, you can't get this in America. No. And I have no idea why. It's it's only 4.3% ABV, so it's not like it's some kind of monster imperial or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think I've had this beer in Europe when I was on active duty in the Navy, but I could be wrong, so <laughs> I'm I'm really curious to see how this is. It's going to be a red, it's a nitro-charged beer just like Guinness, and we're both using a Guinness tulip, English pint, or whatever you want to call it. So I wanna, I'm ready to dive right in, you. Absolutely. Whoa! Uh -oh. Got some explosion. It must have been shook on the way here. But yeah, I don't really want to show that. I, I love the way these beers fall. That is yeah. one great thing about them. If you can see that. Start with body, like we said, it is, it's not red really. It's more like on the orange or copper side, right? Yeah. Like a pale ale. Like a pale ale. I can smell it from here. Yeah. But it has that white, it's like coffee creamer is the best way you can describe it. It's, and you can tell it's real thick too, yeah. which is great. I got about a two finger and it's still trying to settle. It's sort of like take a spoon and just... Yeah. <laughs> it smells almost, I don't want to say skunky, but... Yeah, it, it, it smells very similar to what the Boddington smells like. Right. Not quite skunky, but like that. It's just generic beer smell. Yeah. 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 It just smells like beer. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's um, it's extremely mild. That head is like all cream. Yeah, it's like something you put on a piece of pie or something, you know. Well, you know what it is. See, the Boddington. I, I used to really like Boddington. Right. But it's gone down and for me as far as where I rate beer because I've had so many other beers that are like better flavor and more smooth. But the good thing about Boddington is it is smooth, and that's great. The bad thing about Boddington is it's got that really nasty, bitter finish. The difference with this... You don't get that here. You don't get that. It's almost very mild, and I can taste toffee. You know, like like what you would get in a red ale, or like caramel. Yeah, I mean, you kind of really have to reach for that flavor, but it's, it's there. So what's good about it is... It's got that great smoothness that I like, yep. but not that nasty bitterness in the finish. Yeah, it feels like it's thick and creamy in the mouth, but it's also very soft. And you want to talk about smooth? I remember you were saying that, like the Taddy Porter is like the smoothest beer. Yeah. I mean, like this. I mean, just it's smooth because it's a nitro charge. So sure. It just it goes down like you know it's so easy. Yeah, and because there's no bitter finish, it goes. It makes it even that much easier. Uh. But there's not a ton of body to it. It's pretty thin. It's it's it is, but it's it, I'd say it's thicker than Guinness. Because like with yeah. Guinness, like it, well, when you drink a nitro charged Guinness, it's like the first thing you notice is like, hey, this is watery. Hey, this is actually beer. You know. It's also got a very flat taste to it as well. Yeah. You know, there's the, the carbonation is not there at all. Yeah, I think it's you know it's meant to be session beer. So yeah. Like, you know, 4.3%, It's that's pretty damn light. It, it tastes better than it smells, which is, you know... Yeah, neat. yeah. Because it doesn't smell that great, but the taste is a little better. If this was sold in America, I would buy this. Yeah. I, I actually would. This is, I think it's like a good gateway beer for your friends that's not big into craft beers. Or even like... The days when you're just sitting home, you don't want to get drunk or you don't want a real heavy beer. You just, but you still want a beer. Yeah. I, I, I would, 
I like it. Yeah, and you don't want to pay like twelve dollars for a four pack of Youngs. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how much this costs. It's probably eight or nine bucks a four pack, I would think, or is, yeah. you know, usually the cans come in four packs. And you know, it happens to be the second day of March Madness, and this yeah. is the day where I usually sit home and get sloshed. Yeah. As I get ready to watch my Sienna Saints, or our Sienna Saints, take on Purdue, um, this is, per I wish I had a few more of these to drink while yeah. I was watching the game. I'm kind of mixed on it. I guess I'll go, I'll, I'll go seven. It's a solid seven. It's a solid good beer. It's, a. Uh, it's not up there with the eight, nines, and tens of where they start to, like, really, really impress you, but it's not lower than that where it's kind of like you're just kind of tolerating it. It's yeah. like... Hey, it's a good beer. It doesn't have to make a big deal about it. So, I like it. It's, you know, pretty tasty and extremely drinker friendly. Yep. And, uh, what else do you want? That's that's good enough for me, so. Well, what I'm going to do is i got a little bit here left, and I'm going to do my final chug and uh, give you my final thoughts and green. But I'm kind of very similar with you on this one. It's a very drinker friendly beer it's very smooth very mild there's a little bit of a taste there to let you know that it's not just an ale yeah. and but still it's a beer and a tiny bit of bitterness on the end just a hint yeah. and we're even drinking it a little warmer than what they suggest and I'm not disappointed I'm actually liking it better than I anticipated yeah me too so it's actually kind of helping the situation out but I am going to do my final chug and give you my final thoughts and grade Mmm. Nice smoothness right to the end. That head was great. And that um, head's even wider than regular Guinness. Like, that is, like, s sparkling white. And it was, it was super smooth, yeah. too. Um, I'm actually going to give this beer an above-average score. Okay. Um, now, that's probably a little bit lower than you gave it, because I think my, that my yeah. rule, that's like a 6 to you, that, yeah. you know, and if you gave it a 7. But calling this above-average is not knocking it. It's to me. It's because I was expecting to be like average to worse. Right. So the fact that it's above average it is quite pleasant, and I would definitely buy a four pack of this if it was available. So yeah. I was I was, pl I was I was pleased with it. I think the the people at Guinness are watching this. We're like, hey, maybe we can sell this to Americans. Yeah, now. please <laughs> do. <laughs> because sometimes when I go out to like a regular bar, and the only thing they have is Guinness. But if I'm eating like chicken wings Guinness don't go good with chicken wings no. so this would be decent so you know well I would eat an IPA with chicken or drink an IPA with chicken wings <laughs> so anyway uh, I think that about wraps it up right yeah gonna get inside and watch some more basketball so yep thanks to Dennis for the beer thank you and thanks for coming over and sharing yeah, thanks for having me and uh, that was the Kilkenny Irish Cream Ale yep. from the makers of Guinness and uh, till next time thanks for watching Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better <laughs>